Hello, welcome to today's Back to the City. I am joined by two good friends, one half of Asia Minor, Matthew and Austin. Hello. Hello. I really like the album cover to the record that you're about to put out later this month on July 29th at Ice House. Mm -hmm. There's the two of you. Yes. Um, you are the two primary songwriters. That's right. Yes. Correct. That's yeah. why there's the mm -hmm. two of you. Yeah. And I love that it's outside, and I love, Austin, that you are looking up to the sun. Yeah. There's a nice contrast with the previous YYY records, right. where there's the focus on being within one space. Mm -hmm. And in one of the songs, uh, 106, 106? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, which one shall we go with? Which one do you go with? Um, 106. I've, so many I've never said it out loud. Before, <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 106. 106. 106. Yeah. In 106, mm -hmm. uh, it's closed blinds at all times. Yes. Uh, so let's begin with the fact that on the album cover, on the record cover, mm -hmm. EP album. Uh, yeah, it's the the e cover of the EP. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. On the EP cover, we have Austin. It's not all blinds at all times looking straight up at the sun mm -hmm. and uh, the setting is outside um, how did the, and the record is called seven summers mm -hmm. so the sun is relevant too yes um, what does this album cover reveal about the record how did we wind up having this being the album cover well we um, we were doing a photo shoot with Aaron Rice mm -hmm. and um, we were doing, we wanted some like kind of outdoors pictures and I uh, forget what park we were at, but I remember we were kind of walking through a more wooded area that day and there was kind of a spot that we saw from afar that literally just like the light beam was cutting through the trees mm -hmm. and we we're like, oh, we should, you know, do something there and... Uh, yeah, it was very serendipitous actually. Was, like we were, had been shooting like all day, kind of like looking for something like the mood that we're kind of trying to find and then like from really far away we saw this like light beam cutting through the trees and we're like there that's it. <laughs> let's go over there yeah <laughs> that's it and Aaron and this is the same photographer that you have the red uh photo yeah, shoot yes, with. this correct. is the same day no Different no type. um these were probably a year or so apart mm. um the one outside that was the first photo shoot we did um still kind of you know trying to figure out um what trying to you know throw some paint on the wall see what sticks kind of thing um but uh it ended up being pretty cool because when um this was shot on film and when aaron sent us the pictures back um the one that is the cover of the ep it's got a little bit of the next picture on the roll of film in there Ooh. and the black bar Yes. that we have the text on is actually i didn't add that in it was just that black bar was there yeah a bit just the there picture. and yeah. we just kind of riffed on it and then added our uh, like info and and stuff on there and it ended up just like working out really well for the uh layout absolutely yeah it seems to kind of suggest not being stuck as well mm -hmm. there's a sense of the passing of time very interesting with the light coming through the trees, that seems to fit nicely with the um, metaphorical light that arrives, certainly in the last couple of tracks with the focus on un simple love, uncomplicated love, yes, yes. opening up to that. Um, that's in the song, When I See You. Yes. I love the call and response of that. Yes. When I see you, when I see mm -hmm. you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I think that that is a particularly important track on the record. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that in relation to this, you know, the imagery of the light coming through the trees? Um, well, yeah, I suppose. Um, I mean, that song is really about um, my wife, my like now wife, but also like within these seven summers that even this record is is called that's when like my relationship with my wife even just began in earnest and was um in a lot of ways she represented a lot of like represents and is just a lot of hope and um 
in my life currently and really represented that in in my life when she came into it mm -hmm. and that song is about kind of how uncomplicated that love really is and and was and it was kind of a revelation for me to feel like dating can be very complicated and mm -hmm. it can be very uh, it, it at times can feel very gamey, like mm. people are doing gamesmanship and things like that. And um, and it was, yeah, a revelation to just have something that was just like kind of so purely communicated to one another and it was not complicated at all. It was just like, this is like, this is simple. Like it's so simple and then it's, it, it's, it, and so yeah, like the, like how it's represented in the uh, album cover like that kind of, there's like a hopefulness and like kind of this ray of sunshine kind of thing and uh and that is also kind of like what my relationship with my wife is like it's just mm -hmm. like it's so simple and i can look to this beacon of hope in my life and still continue to right now like it's that's really what it feels like and absolutely it is like it's difficult to write a song that captures that yeah. I think. Yeah. I Yeah. In a way, it is, but also in a way when it's just like something, like, actually probably the, the hardest part is just kind of like taking it down to its most core components and just being like, this is what it is. And it's, that, the thing I enjoy about that song is that it's, it is it's almost like it's a kind of a simple song but it is getting to the core of what that relationship is yeah it's simple succinct yeah it's pretty short yeah yeah <laughs> and i feel um it's the lyric uncomplicated and it changes everything or uncomplicate it it's it uncomplicated so uncomplicated. right it's yeah. on yeah so it's yeah. that's that's the less complicated Version. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So it's keeping with the theme. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. And then it doesn't get complicated, but then there is a nice kind of complex tapestry, rich tapestry, yeah. sonically, I think, after that moment. And yeah. The song kind of opens up a bit. Yeah. yeah. And also, I think that's reflective of just kind of how relationships are. Like, at the core of our relationship, it is very simple and it is very, like, like we communicate very well and it's just very like we're very literal with each other about how we feel and how things are mm -hmm. uh, which does uncomplicate things mm -hmm. um hey let's be honest hey, hey. hey let's be honest <laughs> hey let's uh oh, yeah. i actually just lost my thought where was i going <laughs> <laughs> you're you're very open and transparent there's good communication yes yes uh, but also, yes, very open and transparent, but also there is a rich tapestry that uh, we share and like we we have a relationship that is very, uh, yeah, it's very textured and has all, like we, we have all the same dynamic struggles that anybody does mm -hmm. and it's not just like only this, but we're, the uncomplicating of like a relationship is something that takes also work to do, but yes. also it it's uh it still has yeah this tapestry of a history in our own uh, yeah like it has its complications but making sure that we're like i don't know it's just like if it's uncomplicated in its basic core of what it is yeah which is feels great <laughs> i like that it's in that song uh, that we have the reflection on the high tide low tide both tides are guided by the angle of the waning moon yeah mm -hmm. so even in this song which is celebrating simplicity and uncomplicated yeah there is this acknowledgement yeah. of the two tides and yeah. them both being determined guided by the waning moon yeah and i think that fits with what you were just kind of uh implying about the fact that there needs to be space for the rich tapestry of emotions yes yeah. And there's going to be conflict, yeah. but there can, but somehow, th the container of the love is sustained yeah. in such a way that all of that's invited. The rich tapestry of emotions and everything is invited. Yes, absolutely, and and yeah, that that actually lyric, I think it, that's an excellent observation. It is like that. Like both me and my partner have 
our full dynamic range of human emotion and and just being a human person is a complicated mess a lot of the times like i have suffered from depression and anxiety and so do they and that is part of the human experience at least for us and mm -hmm. then, um but we both recognize that in each other and like some days I'm like this and some days I'm like that for no reason particularly and but uh, the grounding factor can be each other a lot of times which helps both of us immensely. Of Absolutely. Just, yeah. Once that starts becoming one's experience yeah. and one is experiencing enacting love with one's beloved person. Yeah. Then that's very that's that changes everything. Uncomplicated and yeah. it changes everything. Right. I can yeah. I can relate. The yeah. record that I've been making recently yes, right. has the same themes. I let love in is like the lead single. Yes. Uh, so it's very lovely to be um, to be reflecting uh, on the same experience and, yeah. and honoring that in music. But if you're at all like me, self doubt shows up. Yes. Regardless. Um, and yeah. that is what happens in Seed, parentheses, yes. it might. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're at all like me, I couldn't catch the, the very beginning of this. Self doubt. What does self doubt do? Um, so, if you're at all like me, your self doubt uh, sprouts and grows leaves. Mm -hmm. A sight to be seen. What started as a germinated seed blooms, blossoms, and grows for a week, graduates into a full fledged tree with the strength to wage war with the joy on the breeze. Yes, yes. That is what happens. It is, yeah. That happens to me too. Yeah. So even though we find ourselves in loving relationship, yeah. despite the fact that we're aware of the kind of games that people play and that can be disheartening, yeah. humans give love a bad name sometimes, yeah. so many love songs have a lot of dysfunction. In. Absolutely. Even though we find ourselves in loving relationship yeah. and it seems like we're on the right track, and self-doubt shows up just like the moon the waning moon in the yeah. other song the, and what's growing from a seed what the interesting thing about this song seed is that it's the self-doubt that is growing you might expect a beautiful thing to be growing blooming blossoming flourishing yes. but what's but, but what's growing is the self-doubt yes that's so interesting did either of you have reflections on the fact that what's growing in the song seed is the thing that ideally we might not want to be growing. Mm, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, like, as I mentioned, like I do suffer from depression and anxiety, um, and it is definitely um, it is one of those things that, like, it will grow in secret until mm. it becomes awesome in its in its spectacle and it can mm. metastasize in ways that uh, like are uncomfortable i mean it's always uncomfortable to be suffering from depression and anxiety um and it, it, nobody wants chooses that for sure but it it does happen and it just it starts with a small thing and grows and like i said like in secret sometimes mm -hmm. until you until you can't deny it, it's there and it's just it is waging war with the joy and the breeze and you're like trying to enjoy your life trying to enjoy even things that you used to enjoy but all of a sudden now that joy is robbed of you because this thing has happened and really uh, like really that lyrical train is kind of touching on that frustration of what that is like like i don't have control over how this is growing and i mean the amount of control i have over it it, it means some i can eat better and exercise and do those things mm -hmm. and that helps but also uh the, these it's it's almost like kind of a constant battle to be dealing with those kinds of emotions those kinds of feelings and and i don't know like yeah it's just it's really getting at the frustration of what that is like mm -hmm. and then the course of that song is is really about the slow process of dealing with that like you start where you are and you crawl through the dark to a place where you change you know mm -hmm. and the change it might take it okay. might you know like it might but it might not and which is even and that's emphasis the importance of that is emphasized by that being in the song title mm -hmm. it yeah. might yeah. and then 
the echoing of mates. Yeah. You, you, you saying it's mates. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody says it. Someone, it's, 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 it's sad. It's, a vocal, it's, it's another vocal that's saying it mates. <laughs> like, it might just be Matthew's. Uh, I think I, I, it's me both. <laughs> both <laughs> it might. <laughs> it might. But yeah. Me both. <laughs> I like that um, we found ourselves reflecting on what we can control, what we can't control. You were saying exercise, diet, so yeah, on, right. you know, can, can help us um, be more likely to be receptive to the joy on the breeze, yeah. but we can't control everything. The right. final track on the record is called Control, CTRL, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm not sure I can maintain control. Yeah. There's a lyric in it. Another lyric in it is, is this a story that's boring enough to be loved? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's funny. We can also have these thoughts about, again, humans giving love a bad name. There's lots of simple, overly simple love yeah. stories. Yeah. And it's interesting to find in that final track, uh, the character uh, or, or you uh, yeah. kind of reflecting on being within a rich story yeah. novelistic rich story where yeah. there is all kinds of a rich tapestry of emotions yeah. and all kinds of things are happening and it's and it's rich and it's like but this is this is a love story this doesn't seem boring enough to be a love story <laughs> <laughs> given the type of love stories that humans come up with well what uh, thoughts do you have on, on that and in relation to control because we I were mean, talking about control right i mean my thoughts on that are also like is this a story that's boring enough to be loved? Like previously, I think there was a previous version of myself who was looking for kind of excitement and excitement in kind of the love stories that I was exploring in my youth. And a lot of that had to do with even drama and turmoil and stuff. And actually like speaking just to even this previous song that we were talking about where it's about the simple love. It, it, it's thematically similar of in just that like it's it's a lot more sustainable when it's just it's not drama driven it's not about like it's not these fights that are like unwinnable that you're having with your partner and those things are exciting and in all sorts of things when you're young and and it feels the roller coaster ride. Yeah. It's like I'm really passionate. Yes, absolutely. Reading but, Dostoevsky uh, it would be a thing for me. As I've aged, it's just also become less. Uh, it's actually like those kinds of things are like actually not sustainable, and they yeah. they might burn bright, but they also die quickly. Kinds mm -hmm. of things and the relationships that I find, or I mean, I like the relationship I have with my wife is mm -hmm. uh, like a lot more sustainable because it's like, it's, it's, it's not boring in a not exciting way, but it's like, it's not like we're fighting each other and it's not like this like jealousy driven thing. It's like, this is just, it's like this. And what do you say about like, it's, it's not like, Oh, you're with that guy, and oh man, that really—it's just like no, we're like super honest and earnest yes. and with each other, and so like it, the it, it's it like because it started in a place where it could have easily been like that kind of relationship for both of us, and I think neither of us saw actually that we were going to be what we are now mm -hmm. um and it, it could have easily become like this dramatic thing but it it just never was and never it, at any step of the way and so that was like a point of reflection of just uh like like this will seem boring to other people mm -hmm. because there's it not wouldn't all... make a good soap opera right it <laughs> yeah. wouldn't and but it is like but but as i've aged like that is it's actually much more sustainable and attractive to me that it is like that's like i can be my own person and you can be your own yes. person and we have this mutual respect and we're not and for a lot of people like you know this probably is boring <laughs> to other people but like for us it's like is this boring enough to be like love it is like yeah. it is yeah. to each their own yes yeah. right no okay. right and it's, and like, it's, it's, it's a less yeah. good soap opera but um it sounds more like the story, the kind of story that I 
enjoy. Yeah. And I, in, in my experience too, once one experiences this simple love, mm -hmm. which yeah. comes with this commitment to communication and being open, oh, my mm -hmm. sh uh, shame is, the feeling of shame is back again, yeah. the self-doubt voice is back yes. again. And being open with that and just taking it as a given that that is an aspect of reality and being committed to working through life together in acknowledgement yes. of the waning moon and the presence of the high tides and the yes. low tides, then uh, that's a beautiful journey to go on. And once one well, has experienced that yes. directly, then it uh, changes one's perspective on the other relations it does it absolutely does and i definitely feel that like just having available like the availability of i can feel like shame and all these things that's part of the human experience but we can both i don't have to like hide it from you or like react in strange ways about it which mm. happens a lot in yeah previous relationships i can just be like i'm we're being honest about this and i feel like this and to really feel uh i don't know like taken care of or seen mm -hmm. and not judged uh really changes things yes, it dynamically does. just even not just in a relationship but just kind of as as people yeah absolutely yeah let's bring in friendship which is yeah. a form of love it is and absolutely. uh and we'll, i'm sure we'll reference uh friends janessa and jeff yes. as, yes. as, we, as we do this, the other <laughs> yes. half of the band and uh, I think a good um, song to ground it in is, again, 106. Yeah. Uh, because there, in the end, I want nothing but a friend to tell me something like, what's the lyric? Some kind of news. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm something. waking from everything I'm taking. Uh. Uh, I have to. Say, what do we want the friendship? Sing it through in my brain. <laughs> in the end, I want nothing but a friend to tell me something like good news. Like, like good, good news, news good when news. I'm waiting. When I'm waking. Yeah. 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 Um. So friendship is a form of love too. Mm -hmm. yes, I love my. I love you. Yeah. I love. I love my friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love this guy. Yeah. This guy's my friend. <laughs> 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 so, 106 is another nice, short, succinct song, which is very intentional about what it's communicating. We start off robbing the place blind, stolen away like it's closed blinds at mm. all times. We're kind of isolated. We're certainly not sitting out in the sun, mm -hmm. um, basking in it. Uh, and then we come to the conclusion about what it, there's, uh, is there a change in tempo even like it's, song uh, so it starts in five four and then um which is kind of the beginning like a darker yes. section if you will and then um goes into four four for the, yeah, the lighter section shifts. and then transitions back to five four um i think in like from the get-go uh I had always wanted to do a song that goes from 5-4 to 4-4 four, because four, it sounded like a tough challenge. Yeah. <laughs> and it kind of was. Uh, and I feel like it, it ended up working well. And then, but then going back to 5-4 was, uh, in a lot of ways, it was a little bit easier. Um, but it, I feel like it has like a bit more of a journey back. Mm, um, interesting. And why was it important for you to do the full circle and return to the original I think, plan? Um, I, honestly, I think a lot of it is, um, I think Matthew and I have uh, some pretty decent songwriting chops and yes. uh, kind of wanted to give us like a tough thing to do mm. and see how see if we can do it or not and um yeah that's that was kind of the and you could i also do think there's like a thematic um drive to that change so like it's cyclical like it kind of like ends up where it started um so like the first part is kind of a lot about just kind of like the isolating and about 
kind of really depression and just like mm -hmm. what that's like and then there's kind of this reprieve that changes dynamically into like this kind of joyful like in the end I want like it's just like you know like you find that in friendships you find that in in the joys of your life and if that that other part that's that second part which is like the middle part is kind of reflective of that and it sounds like that it's like all these uh it, it changes to like this relative major key of mm -hmm. what is going on and it's it, it has a very different timbre and different time signature as austin mentioned and it's it's kind of speaking to what that is but also then it does go back into what it started as and i mean the song could it almost suggests that it could just like go on back and forth forever because that's kind of what just it's like yeah what it's oscillating like. yeah it's is, an oscillating yeah it's an oscillating so i think we thing. also do have a fade out on that yes. which you know and it suggests that it could go on forever on. you could go yeah. back into this and that is, mm -hmm. i mean that's what yeah a lot of the human experience is oscillating between at least i mean you know i can only speak to mine but it oscillates between you know it's uh, like it's it's this sad sometimes like isolating i don't i don't want to like i want to be inside and like mm -hmm. this, don't look at me and mm -hmm. then to this celebrating of friendship and all of these things but then eventually a lot of times you'll go back to the thing and yes it's yeah it just it, it, the human experience can just oscillate a lot it can be very cyclical and that's kind of i don't know that's i mean thematically i think that's what that is getting at absolutely yeah. Yeah. so that's your experience that is so much my experience that like the just to emphasize like how much that's my experience so yeah. on the record hum that i'm yeah. putting it it's yeah. like in three acts the first act the main song is i let love in so we're kind of committed to that second act opens with a song called Shame Tapes and Gremlins where these self-doubt voices arrive yes. despite all of all of that. Yeah. And we were just with these with these voices. And the third act is all about oscillation. Uh, sure. The, the growth Ooh, that yes. happens through being with both these shame tapes and gremlins and yes. uh, the commitment to love in the first place. And oscillation is so important throughout your record mm -hmm. um, where there's this a recurring focus on committing to change yes and then yes sometimes there's going to be the fruits of that commitment in uh being at one with the joy on the breeze but yes. often there isn't there might be yeah right it <laughs> and, might uh, yeah. so this comes in in the opening track which we haven't talked about at all yet iron hand mm, yeah. um yes ask me if i'm right i might change my mind yeah is where this focus on the possibility of change uh, comes in yes. and then in seed I've changed the ways I've gone about the day to day but when I start to pray that's a recurring theme too there's lots of references to pray uh, I remain the same yes so it's almost as if this is kind of set up as the kind of quandary in the beginning um, we have this urge to change but there's a skepticism about whether change will happen if I commit yes. to mm -hmm. it. Yes. Well, and I think also too, uh, when when all of these songs were written, um, it's probably I think it's like spring, summer, 2020. Mm. So there's a lot of change and turmoil and tension and a lot of things going on um and a lot of confusion um so i think you know that definitely played a part in uh shaping a lot of these songs mm. um, yeah a lot of uncertainty mm -hmm. a lot of yeah and just having to kind of navigate an uncertain world that we are all sharing and uh not really knowing what the future looks like i mean you know like we're both musicians and also like at that time there's like no, 
you weren't playing shows, you weren't doing anything. Like it's it just even identity complexes of like, am I a musician if I haven't mm -hmm. played any music for two years? You know, like mm -hmm. it was like, who am I? I like there's a there's a lot of that uncertainty. I think just kind of boiling for a lot of us, mm -hmm. not just mm -hmm. us, but I mean us personally, absolutely, but also just in general and I, th I think there's probably some of that mood imprinted into what this is and which probably goes speaks to like the idea of committing to change and not really necessarily believing in, in like that it, all this uncertainty is kind of just boy coming to the surface yeah